Haiku Season 4, Episode 20. I've got this dramatic substitution for this total unknown. But I, I'm already like anticipating his arrival just based on comments from the last few episodes. Yeah, there's something really terrifying about, about that. Just the humility. Was that reverse psychology? Because I'm suddenly terrified. Why does he look so calm at this point in the game? I mean, I feel like I have a little bit of a leaning already or insight just because of, as I mentioned, seeing some of the hype pop up about this character. But just the fact that he walks into this game calm faced and smiling immediately just contrasts him with everyone else. This is another thing that might sound obvious to say out loud and it's so simple, but maybe an underrated skill. Being the only person who's calm in a chaotic situation immediately just pulls all the, the, the focus and power to you. Maybe being calm is not the full story, but more like being non-reactive. There's just this intuitive feeling or understanding when you see people like that, that they're different. And what it might signify, whether people consciously realize this or not, is that they're the own locus of their energy and emotions, which is like already you're in just the top echelon of people in terms of like self-discovery. It's like having your own emotional fusion reactor for what you feel, what you think, what you do. Personally, this is a type that makes me really curious because the next question is, what do they get it from? What are they answering to that makes the things that rattle most people not rattle them? Episode 20, Leader. I'm <laughs> going right, just right into his flashback, wasting no time. Not even saving it for a heated moment. I mean, for something higher to be driven by, gods maybe count. Gods are up there. He walks in having not played a minute. <laughs> it's just immediately laying down the hammer, and you can tell they respect the hell out of him, so just take it. Calm faced. And first play just laying his body out in the line. <laughs> it's nice to hear the, the defense say that out loud. Yeah, he does have a presence. That adds up for me because I think the most robust kind of confidence is non-comparative. Again, it sort of ties back to being one's own locus of, of control. And I would argue to that point, being satisfied with what you're doing is the real benchmark as opposed to your ranking. You can be number one at something and still not be satisfied, whereas you can be number 10,000 at something and be satisfied. It just depends on your expectations of self. In that light, I think some of the biggest causes of depression or just existential angst are not one's position, but one's position relative to one's own expectations. It's the areas where we fall short of what we think we should be doing that hurt the most. <laughs> ま、ポイント。北さんが初めて試合に出たのって<笑> Made that look really easy. Smiles knowingly. In a sense, he, he exemplifies something that Carson has been aiming at. He's always going for your best that you've done during practice. <laughs> もっと優しい言い方ないかい。掃除、片付け。いただきます。挨拶。バレーボール。ダメ、やさ、だバトルム、シャイニング。神さんのためにやっとるわけはないしな。反復、継続、丁寧は。this is getting really weird because he's he's really already reminding me of one of my closest friends, someone who I, I respect to death. No, 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 definitely not. 
結果より家庭が大事と大人が言うて子供はいまいち納得する I was about to say this exact thing This is crazy 俺を構築するのは毎日の行動であって結果は副産物に過ぎこれも結果のうちかな I'm honestly stunned because this is something that took me so long to come to. And I've never seen it expressed in media, I don't think, this directly. This exact thing they just said is something that the friend I just mentioned talks about all the time. He's one of the most accomplished people that I know personally. Everything he does is a success to an absurd degree. He's always right about everything to a point where it's infuriating if you're on the wrong, the wrong side of it. But he's the most humble person. He never brags, does not seek attention. And going back to my point in the beginning of the video, is never rattled. Like he just is doing what he's going to do no matter what. I've never seen him be thrown off his axis that he's spinning on. And one of his big things, which I think I've spoken about in previous videos, is being process oriented rather than result oriented. It's tough because you kind of have to hone your thinking, your analysis of correct processes first, because if you have the wrong process, it can go terribly wrong. But if you have a good insight for what good process is and you have a good compass for what the right decisions are in terms of what gives you the best base and leaves no room for weaknesses or chance when things feel right you just do the right thing and you give that a little bit of time and discipline and patience there's a point at which the gains become exponential and blow past people who are going for the you know the quick gains or focusing exclusively on what results they can engineer at the edge of their fingertips in many ways the opposite of me and it's really hard to keep in mind it's really hard to do because it takes a certain level of abstraction part of which i think is an understanding and faith in time which is not our natural wiring as humans and to plug away at those things with maximum output for the reward of what that does for you personally and how you view yourself and speaking of confidence i think that often is where that comes from because if you're doing everything you know how to do that feels right and good to you and conversely avoiding all the things that feel bad or compromise your character i think you end up being someone who you yourself respect and there's nothing really that other people can take away from you in that regard and perhaps there's also nothing that circumstance can take away from you <laughs> also crazy is that we we in our friend group refer to him as a robot lovingly i like the way she thinks <laughs> no we don't give up before it's over. Speaking of process, just play every point. It's just a standard. This is giving me chills. I didn't know this was like a universal thing. I feel like a kinship with the author right now. Yeah, I guess he knows himself so well he has the emotional energy to know everyone else deeply. Oh, I'm worried about Carson right now. They're just so like on their back foot. Just Oh man. They just like froze up, we're not even just we're not even seeing them really. They just became the robots. Totally reactive. What gives Karasudo a chance here? I mean, if I had to take a guess, I would say that while they all as individuals, or most of them as individuals, have their eccentricities and are erratic emotionally, as a team, they end up exemplifying something similar, which is they typically don't allow their emotions to spiral, at least not for long. They all give it their all on every point, every set, and they know who they are, and there's confidence in that. This is such a crazy twist to throw in this character this late in the game. <laughs> Yeah, they need Daichi, the emotional anchor, more than ever. This is very honest. It means a lot coming from Asahi, especially for Nishinoya, because he's, he's his hero. <laughs> I think I mentioned something to the effect that it would be nice if they, you know, they rallied around Nishinoya and picked up some of the slack on the court, but I think this is way more appropriate and emotionally satisfying. <laughs> Alright, at a moment like this. Yes, sir. Yes, 
Here we go again. It's still irritating. Oh, Quebec! I knew that was gonna happen. Damn it! Oh man, that's so bad at a moment like this. That hurts, especially after that emotional rally. I guess this is just an archetype of life. I, I guess there are just people out there. Super rare, though. He's paralyzed. There we go. Sai's is gonna make good on his promise. There we go. I know this is just exposition, but man, she must really love him. Bastard. Right, there's only one one unique rule about volleyball as opposed to 10,000. Yep, the Velas Raptors throwing themselves against the fence. Love these images. あの、あれ、すごい。ちこ喋りやろう、嫌われる。ごめん。エスコーシュラブジュマン。ちすけるわて。スイッチ。稲荷崎は同じで、カラスのは変えてきたってことは。マイエクスフォンクンシットゥル
your locus of approval. Make your standards, real honest standards, not shying away, not sugarcoating things you actually don't like as things you like and having control over those. The more of a core you develop that gives you confidence and untouchableness so that you can be non-reactive to things that want to sway you or knock you off course, free up energy because if you're not always thinking about yourself and you're unsure about what you're doing and what you're saying and how people perceive you, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, the more that's just on lock and your excess mental reserves go towards clarity, just clarity of thought and seeing. Things have a way of becoming more transparent the farther you go along down that line. And I think that's exactly what's happen happening with Kita and why he understands his teammates so well. There's no wasted energy worrying about what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. He knows who he is. He knows what his standards are for himself. He knows he's meeting them and he knows what he's capable of, even if it's not being number one, that's fine. Three, and this is connected, to not let there be a gap or to make the gap as small as possible between understanding of what should be done and the doing of it itself. And for confidence, it's not something faked. It's not something manufactured out of thin air. It's something that's built. And it's not easy to build. It takes a lot of work, but I think it perhaps starts with an aforementioned step of really deep and clear analysis into what your standards actually are without shying away from them, what matters to you, and then meeting those again and again consistently, habitually, until you have both an understanding and a track record of yourself to yourself that means more to you than the results or other people's opinions or perspectives. Not that they don't matter. I just think that if you do it correctly, if you go down that, that road long enough, dedicatedly enough, other people will form around you. People will make space for you because they recognize you have something special. They recognize you have strength and you answer to a higher power. That's why it feels so true to me that, you know, Kita walks on the court and everyone is just immediately molding themselves around what he says with no argument, a little bit of internal conflict, but that's partly because they know it's true. And I think while you can fake some of the symptoms of this, like you can fake confidence to a certain degree, you can fake calmness to a certain degree. There's nothing like the real thing, especially over a long period of time. You just end up with your own gravity that people can't help but notice.